Main man, made man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. Salute to the fam. So just checking out some uh, info about this Manny Pacquiao versus Earl Spence Jr. upcoming fight. I noticed that one question that's floating around a lot on the channel is whether or not the upcoming fight will involve two or three world titles. Now, we know that Manny Pacquiao was named champion in recess for the WBA, where he had the WBA Super Championship uh, that he won from beating Keith Thurman. And when he he basically got stripped due to inactivity, but he was named champion in recess. At this time, Yodanis Ugas was elevated from WBA regular champion to now WBA super champion. The WBA regular champion now is Jamal James. And of course, the WBA gold champion is Virgil Ortiz. However, Manny Pacquiao was named champion in recess. So boxing fans are wondering, once Pacquiao comes back, is he going to be able to reclaim his former position as the WBA super champion and face Earl Spence? Well, looking at the WBA rules, I think the answer to that fight fans is no. It looks as if that the best thing about Manny Pacquiao being named champion is in recess is the fact that he can come back up to the fight game and immediately challenge the WBA champion. Now, per the WBA rules, as you can see right there on your screen, Manny Pacquiao, honestly, when he first comes back, will honestly be presented with the WBA interim champion first. But given that there is no listed WBA interim champion, at least I don't see one on the WBA's rankings right now on their website. If there's no interim champion, then they must pivot to the WBA regular champion. Or even if they wanted to elevate it all the way up to the WBA super champion, right? Either way, Manny Pacquiao has to put in a fight first before he has claim back to that world championship. And if he chooses not to fight someone, then he loses his portion of the championship and he is no longer seen as a champion in recess or pretty much at all a champion period with the WBA. So knowing that and Manny Pacquiao immediately coming back to Earl Spence, well, that pretty much means that he's not fighting the WBA now super champion in Ugas or for that matter, any of the champions, whether it had been Jamal James or Virgil Ortiz or whomever. So that pretty much answers the question. The WBA is not going to strip your Danish Ugas because they will be going against their rules, at least this particular section. And if that's going to happen, well, that's just going to be a messy fight. And besides, Manny Pacquiao, I believe this will possibly be his last fight uh, with Earl Spence Jr. anyway. And Manny Pacquiao is much bigger than belts. A belt doesn't define Manny Pacquiao. It's not needed in what I perceive to be his very, very last fight of his career anyway. But we'll see. And that's just some information that's out there, fam. Thumbs up for the homie on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, much love to the fam. See y'all real soon, man. Unfortunately, this once again, as I told y'all, this hurts the undisputed argument, man. You know, and this makes undisputed that much longer to have to wait for when we were so close to it. Only if Earl Spence would have just taken out your Danish Ugas and then pivoted to Terrence Crawford. But given the situation is now and knowing the WBA rules, who knows where that WBA title is going to end up at. If your Danish Ugas defends it against someone over at PBC, and if he loses it to another welterweight, well, that puts another fight in between us and the fight that we truly wanted to see. But it's unfortunate. But it is what it is. To so the next video, much love. Peace out.